Terry, and this is my scary Halloween story. Now, okay, trolls and other people, it's scary. I'm gonna tell you terrible stories. Don't watch, okay? I don't wanna hear, oh, that was terrible, oh, that's horrible. And I do get people doing that all the time. These guys agree, it's a scary story. As locksmiths, we, have the, we call them the crazy cat ladies. They call you up, they want their locks changed, because somebody is moving their furniture. It happens all the time. So we just call them the crazy cat ladies. There's other names for them, but basically the classic is somebody's coming into my apartment and they're moving furniture. Okay, so, and they're good customers. The first time we go there, we rekey the locks and then they give us a call next day, sometimes at night, somebody's coming into my place they're moving my furniture. Then I say, okay, if you think you got something, and we do have people doing this to other people to drive them nuts. They do come in, they do move their furniture, do whatever. Okay, so we say, I can put a lock on there that I can't open. So my favorite locks is the Abloy High Security. I love the uh, Medicos, I also love the Slage Primus. So we put on one of the high security locks. I say, I can't, an Abloy, no known defeats except for chopping it off the door. You know, the only way to get through the new Abloy Protect 2s is drill, grind. It's extremely difficult. It's what I have in my house. It's the best deadbolt. So we put on, let's say, an Abloy or put on something else. They're happy. We're happy. Nobody's getting in. Except they call us back. Somebody's getting in. And I say, they're moving my furniture. I say, you, I gave you, you know, two or three keys. I can't get through your lock. You, you, did you give out a key? And they go, oh yeah, I think so-and-so has a key. I says, look, can you get the key back? No. Okay, we have to rekey your locks. Don't give keys to anybody, because I can't get through this lock. So I put on, I go there, I rekey it, issue her new keys. We don't even keep the key codes. These crazy cat ladies are so crazy, and we tell them, we don't have the code. You get locked out, we can't let you in. We have to drill the lock off the door. So that goes on for a little bit, and then they say, you know what? And, and you, I've still got, they're moving the furniture. So I went back to the customer, and she says, anything you can do. I said, look, your door is secure, your windows are secure. She says, my furniture is being moved. I says, are you, you sure you don't have any keys out there? No, no, whatever. And then she goes, I want a second lock. I want one more high security lock. So I want two on. It's not as crazy as it sounds. I like two deadbolts on my house too. We, we put on, and, the, and the, she didn't want an abloy again. She says, what else do you have? I said, well, I got a Medico, but I said, they're really hard to open. Why don't I just put on two abloys? One key will fit both. No, 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 yeah, I want a Medico. I've heard they're really good. So you have a choice. You either do it or another locksmith go there and sell it. So we're fair, we're fair priced. I put a Medico on her house. On her door, on her condo, she now has an abloy and a Medico. She's complaining about the moving furniture, moving furniture. So you know, they, they reach an extreme where all of a sudden they start calling other locksmiths because now they think it's me is the problem. I'm coming in and moving her furniture. So that's usually the progression of our crazy cat ladies. Except for this one was a little different. We did her two locks. She's still complaining about moving furniture. And it was quiet. Didn't hear from her for about two weeks. All of a sudden, we get the family calling us. The police are there. Everybody's there. They want to check on her. She's not answering her phone. Nobody's talking to her. She hasn't been seen. So, you know, do you have keys? I don't have any keys to the, to the high security locks. I go there with lots of drill bits. Police are there, family's there. You know, nobody's heard anything. So I have to drill, I, you know, I get through the abloys like hell. The Medico, not as bad, but still difficult. So I got two high security locks, they're both locked. First thing I always do, I bang on the door. I know everybody's done it, I bang on the door. No answer, I try the doors, it's locked. And then I check to see if I have to drill both, they're both locked, because I can put in some plastic, I see both deadbolts are locked. So I drill, it takes me quite a while, I'm chewing up some drill bits, I get through the doors, and I just crack the door, and then let the police go in, you know, let them, or the emergency personnel, the police go in. Now, I crack the door, I stand back. Once the door is open, the cops go in. 
the stench is overwhelming. She's got the heat cranked up to like 100 degrees. She's an old lady. You know, it's, she's been cooking in there for, for a couple weeks by the smell of it. It is overwhelming. It's just terrible, the, the stench of a dead body. So the cops go in there. Thank you, guys. The cops go in there, and they got their gagging. The family's like, ah, you know. And then the cops come out, and they are white as ghosts. You know, and they're, and they're, sh they're, 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 they're shook up. And they're telling the family, don't go in there. But you know they want. They say, look, you know she's passed away, and and it's it's terrible. But they want to go in, and the cops go in. And I hear they go in. I don't want to go in. Like I've seen enough dead bodies. I've smelt enough. I don't have to do anything. The family's in there. A horrific scream. The family come running out. The cops come out behind them as well. They are freaked. And I go, and they go, you got to see this. I go, why? You know. So now I got my curiosity. Everybody's freaked. Everybody's. Freaked. I go in there. Okay, I've locked this place up. It's secure in the living room. She's in the chair. Whatever. She's died. It's absolutely horrific. The body, the everything. And she's in there dead. Where her chair is looking, every stick of furniture in that house is piled up against the wall up to the top. And some of it is just barely balancing. She's a little old lady. How the heck? She didn't have the strength to put this stuff up there. It's all up against the wall, and she's just sitting there, dead for a week, and there's the friggin' furniture. Freaked me right out. The cops checked all the windows, all the roof, everything. So that's my spooky Halloween story. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.